Hello, Anya. Hello, love. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How you doing? Not too shabby. It's nice to finally be able to talk about this movie. It's great. Yeah, good things come to those who wait. <laughs> so, Anya, The Northman isn't your first Viking movie, is it? Because I have seen, oh yes, I have seen Viking Quest. <laughs> oh yes. In these Viking films, you tackle like wind, rain, snow, water, hills, mud, all of these horrible things that I don't like. Is it as horrendous to make one of these movies as it looks? Oh, I'm the wrong person to ask because I really enjoy it. If you ask anybody else in this movie, they will say yes, a resounding yes, but I love it. There's something, I, I have like a childlike wonderment about the elements, especially pushed to the extremes. So I really enjoy being in a tent where I'm like, wow, this could really just flip over right now. Like that's, that's the way that it feels. Okay, we're in it. Um, yeah, I have a great time. I think that needs to happen in all your projects now. If they could like, increase the risk of death on like the queen's gambit just constantly chucking like buckets of ice cold water at you or something i think that'd be great for you that's all i want i just want to be you know i remember in last night in soho they shot me with a blood cannon and at the end of it i was giggling so hard and everyone was like you're definitely in the right industry like but this is weird like this is very <laughs> you have a weird a weird sense of enjoyment about these things See, before this, I was like really excited to talk to you. Now, not gonna lie, Anya, a little bit scared. <laughs> it's never inflicted to other people. I just want to have new experiences. I always want. I'm curious. By the way, I'm so in awe of the cast of this film. I mean, you, Ethan Hawke, Nicole Kidman, Willem Dafoe. It's it's a who's who of legends. Oh. But you've done some pretty huge films with big, big movie stars in the past. Do you still get nervous when you like share a scene or share a screen with these people, or are you? kind of used to it by now. You know, it, it's never really nerves because I feel so lucky to get to know them as people. It's more, sometimes you'll find yourself in a scene and you'll realize that you're watching a master at work rather than being in the scene. So I've definitely had moments, like I remember being with Christian Bale and like just staring at him and then going, oh my God, you got to talk. Anya, Anya, it's your scene. <laughs> like you got to say something, you're acting. Um, but yeah, that, that gets a bit, a bit crazy, but everyone's so nice. If it makes you feel better, I'm doing the exact same thing right now in my mind. I'm like, cool. I'm talking to Anya Taylor-Joy and completely forgetting the fact I've got to ask more questions. <laughs> and of course there's Alexander Skarsgård, who you share most of your screen time with. Now, prior to this interview, I went on IMDb and, you know, just do a little bit of research, find out some trivia. And I saw the cast list and everyone's professional profile pictures that they have on IMDb. Before I go any further, have you seen Alexander Skarsgård? And again, professional profile picture. Yes, and that was his personal request. Sorry, he, he actually requested that. Yes, sir. Sorry, just for clarity, can you please, please explain why Alexander may or may not have possibly requested that, him and his pants, as his professional IMDb picture? It is entirely his sense of humor. Alex has such a wicked sense of humor, which is very, very fun to be around. But I don't know if you saw this. Um, he basically did all of our jobs combined and sold this movie because at the Stockholm premiere, he brought out his encased leather thong that he wears in the film and, and showed it to everybody. So he essentially sold our, our film. And for that, I am grateful. See, I'm really broke, but I'm willing to invest everything I've got now just for that thong. I'm willing to make The Northman too. It's encased in glass and every... Oh, he's just... Yeah, he's a very, very funny man. It's a great, great person to be in the, in the freezing cold with. Oh, brilliant. He's, he's handsome and ridiculously funny as well. That's brilliant. Not annoying at all. Um, but there is someone else that you worked very closely with on this film, and that's your mate. Robert Eggers, a director of The Northman, but you previously worked together on The Witch. What is it about his films and about him that makes you want to keep working together? Oh, goodness. I mean, I, I didn't really realise how much of who I am as a performer came from him and The Witch until I was back on set with him. And I was like, oh, this is why I am the way that I am. Everything that I learned came from that experience. And I think... It, it makes me very proud to know that I'm not a precious person, that I really value hard work, that I value the teamwork that goes into a film. I don't think anyone's job is more or less important. It's a group effort making everything um, 
And I just, I just adore him. And I think we had such a strong kinship from the moment that we met. And now all of these years later, staying friends, but also making more films together. Like the shorthand is unbelievable. I know exactly what he's thinking the whole time. Um, and it just feels good to be with family. It's a good thing you two are as close as you say, because you're working together again soon on uh, Robert's Nosferatu remake, which, by the way, recently lost Harry Styles. You know, I'm I'm OK. I'm fine. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, it's not your fault. No, don't you need to apologise. All my anger's going straight to Harry. <laughs> Before he dropped out, had you two worked together on the script? Had you maybe done some line reading together, even over Zoom, you and Harry? Um, no, we had not. But Rob and I have been talking about this for, I mean, since we made The Witch. Nosferatu is inherent to his DNA, and um, I cannot wait to make that movie. But what I was going to say, which makes me laugh, is it's very good that we have this level of love, because technically watching the films, you wouldn't know it. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot of mud. It's a lot of very intense situations. And I'm like, there is much love here. <laughs> This is all coming from a place of love. <laughs> no other director could really get away with what he gets away with, could they? But there is one thing I want to talk about because your performance in this, in The Northman, is so good. Like, you've perfected your accent down to a T. It's, it's brilliant. You're so sweet. Thank you. It's all right. Don't mention it. Because there is, there is one more voice of yours that I'm dying to hear, and that is one I may catch in the upcoming... Mario movie. Oh, goodness. Yeah. I'm so sorry, but you're just going to have to wait and see. What I will say, though, is that it is so much fun, and it's so much fun to be able to play Mario as research. Like, my job <laughs> is I get to say I'm doing homework by reading books, watching movies, and now playing video games. So I, I feel quite proud of what my adult self has done. I've basically just made my, my childhood dream come true. <laughs> Look at you just rubbing salt in the wound there. As if I don't already want your job. You go and see you play Mario and get paid for it. Sorry, it's just really fun. It's really, really fun. I feel incredibly lucky. Well, if you want, Anya, for you, as we're now best friends, if you want a day off from set, maybe just a sickie or something, I will fill in for Princess Peach for you. I will do it. I think you do a really great job, honestly. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> And thank you for talking to me, Annie. This has been so much fun. I love you. You're wicked. Oh. See, well, I say I love you. I I think you're great, but my mum is obsessed. I can't wait for this interview to be plastered all over her Facebook. What's your mum's name? Uh, she's called Pam. Pam. All right. Okay. Yeah. So hi, Pam. It's really lovely to speak to your son. And yeah, we've had a really great time today. <laughs> Oh, I'm never going to have to buy her a Mother's Day card ever again. I'll just send that to her every year on the year. Just a gif of, hi, Pam. You have got me some serious brownie points from my mum there. So thank you so much. Of course, lovely. All right. Uh, have a great rest of your day. <laughs>